Oh man, another night out here on the Chris Craft. Can't uh, can't love it enough. So tonight I'm going to be working on repairing this where the uh, the pin came out of the bracket here. So I'm going to get out old uh, splatter McBooger nuts and uh, try to weld this back in here. So that way I can get it uh, get it buttoned up so we can potentially go out. We're supposed to have good weather tomorrow, so everything will be nice and warm. But, uh, but we'll see. So I'm gonna pull this bracket off and uh, get the uh, get the welder out and see what we can do. So here we go. Remember what I did with the rent. easier to get out the Phillips all kind of strips so I got these nice these nice machine uh, machine head uh, uh, hex drives so keep these all switched out and stainless steel here uh, rather than uh, the current Phillips head screwdriver and Phillips head ones that all got uh, strips. Over here, there's a screwdriver. Now we're trusty. No locking. Let's see if we can. Yeah. The problem with these is they cut all these bolts short after they had uh, mounted them, and the threads on the ends are all just mangled, and uh, it makes it really hard to work with. So. Let's see here. Drop it. Oh, gosh, it's a little bit hard to see here, but they uh, cut these off. And uh, made them threads up pretty bad, so they're a little bit hard to work with. And uh, make it so that it, uh, yeah, it just doesn't want to cooperate sometimes. I actually couldn't get a couple of them back on. Um, and that's why I went with the uh, hex in. But, so these I at least had off once before, so they're not too terrible. But uh, we'll uh, see if I can go ahead and get them all swapped out for something that's a little bit more maintainable in the future. So I think I've got enough that I can uh, do that. Completely out. There we go. Okay. So I can see how these are a little bit uh, misshapen here. So, there's a better view. That bolt is definitely taking some work there. So, we'll uh, get that swapped out. Don't worry about that now. And I'm uh, going to shape this again. So, that's it. So, it doesn't look like that. So, I try to get that nice and straight. And then we'll get that welded up. And uh, at least try to straighten out the other side too. Because it's in uh, equally as bad shape. So, we can go there and take a look at that. Let's see what that's got going on. So, not a whole lot of drama, uh, which is not, which is a little bit unusual. Uh, but uh, you know, just another little thing to do here. This one's not quite as bad, but you can definitely see that that bend. So I'll get those those uh, screws out, and then uh, we'll uh, go ahead and try to straighten things up. So, hey, so we got the old uh, Harbor Freight splatter splatter water going here. Gonna see if I can uh, get things, uh, see if I can get a couple little, uh, little tacks on here to hold that pin in place and then uh, take the tape off because, you know, that's uh, that's total total legit there. Got some uh, got some good 3M tape holding that holding that thing in place so it stays nice and straight. Uh, get, the, get the initial tacks in there and then take that off and try to load up the back side as well as uh, put a couple more welds on the, on the front just to make sure it's nice and strong. And then uh, I may do the same thing on the, uh, on the, the other one. So uh, got the old number three welder here. I'm gonna rock and roll. Yeah, this goes. Help if I turn it on. Yep, as I would expect, 
lots of boogers. Got a little bit of welding flash. That uh, welding helmet did not seem to, uh, it's supposed to be an auto shade. Maybe this is why you don't use this tape for this type of stuff. But uh, at least it looks like the, the pin is kind of bolting. But uh, go ahead and try to get some more tacks on there. up with weld there and does not look straight. Awesome. Well, let's see what we can do with that. So, uh, it's in there. Looks like maybe I welded it up okay. Need to maybe check the batteries in this welding helmet. It uh, did not provide quite the uh, the uh, quick, quick change that I would have liked. So uh, let's see, let's see. I don't know. Got a little bit of welding flash here, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit tough to see. But uh, old splatter McBooger nuts uh, looking pretty good, except for that is not straight. But uh, we can work with that. We'll get it fixed, and uh, maybe just uh, break it off and do it again. But uh, we'll see how things go. So here we go. All right, we'll go for uh, shot number two here on the tax. Uh, I know the lighting's pretty terrible, but uh, hopefully the welder uh, fixes that here in a second. Let's uh, turn it on. Uh, here we go. Nice healthy bead on there. Let it cool for a second. Spritz this out of here. Yeah, it's the best thing to do, but whatever. Looks for a cool video. Okay, I'm gonna take the C clamp off now. Make things stay where they were. And uh, we'll weld up the back side here. So, can't see anything. But, uh, you know, it doesn't look too terrible. With uh, the grinder set up, I can actually hit it with the uh, hit, hit the grinder. And I can uh, see if we can't get a.
need to load up a little bit of that inner bracket. electric off and uh, hit this thing with the grinder here in a little bit after things cool off that looks a lot better uh, it's gonna be straighter but it's the you know booger to the max so that's how we do it here on the old Willis garage we get the you know, boogers going and uh, yeah very cool all right now we're gonna hit the Hit this with the grinder. See what uh, what other kind of damage we can do. So, so don't really know that I need these because it's not that loud. But uh, you know, do it for effect, right? Still no Jesse James, so you know, we'll see. Hey, Jay Willie here. Uh, another night in the old Willis garage, buttoning things up on the Chris Craft. So, Chris Craft Chronicles continue. So, uh, I got the brackets welded up for the uh, engine cover. So, I got the pin welded back in, got it cleaned up with the bench grinder uh, on the ground, as uh, you've already seen. And uh, I got the other bracket off. I'm going to replace the the bolts with the Allen head bolts that I have, uh, that I purchased. Uh, I'm going to have to go get a couple more because uh, so I ruined some of them when I was trying to thread them on to the, uh, the nuts that didn't fit. So the stainless steel uh, hex head machine bolts. Uh, go get a couple more of those uh, tomorrow. I also, uh, one of the things that I think caused one of the failures with the pin is uh, the bushings had fallen uh, into the into the hull and into the boat they had broken off of the of the two brackets so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get um, try to get a bushing uh, for each side that'll fit inside the inside that hole and then hopefully that'll help out with some of it maybe uh, make this thing last a little bit longer the other thing I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna get a different gas strut uh, I think those are a little bit too strong and so I think when it's up it's putting a lot of pressure on the uh, on the two pins, then I don't think it really wants to shut very well. But uh, I still have one of them that's good, so I'll put that on. The other one uh, obviously failed, so I'm gonna have to get another one. Maybe I can stop at uh, O'Reilly's tomorrow and pick up pick up like a these were 150 pounders. Maybe if I can get a hundred or a, a 75s, that might be a little bit better. The cover is very heavy, but it's not 300 pounds, so I don't know that I need two 150 pound struts i would get like to get to the same uh but uh just for just for if we end up going out tomorrow because it's supposed to be pretty nice uh i'll you know we'll make do with the one hopefully i'm not lifting the engine cover up <laughs> too much so uh, one of the other things that i need to go do is um so the engine cover does have actually a um it does have a uh a system here to hold down 
the cover. So hopefully when I get to 55 miles an hour, it won't pop off. This was actually inside, stuck down inside of here. It looks like the bolt had maybe ripped out. Uh, I have um, I have this in my pocket so that I can go get a bolt to fit in the in the nut here. So I'll take that tomorrow as well so I can get that buttoned up and get another thing done. And uh, you know, first rule of boat use boat ownership if you have the parts, install the parts. So uh, I went ahead and uh, replaced all the spark plugs. So um, uh, you can see here are the old ones that I took out. They're, uh, you know, just, I don't know how old they are. They may be original to the boat, they may not. Um, I'm sure I could look at it somehow and figure it out, but I went ahead and replaced it again with just uh, NGKR's uh, TR5 V powers. So uh, just eight, eight new ones of those uh, to go along with the Protonix uh, uh, flamethrower coil that I installed the other day, which, um, you know, is what help get this thing running. I think I've got possibly a week 12 volts going to the coil or, you know, just a, a weak spark or a weak, um, you know, weak signal. The Protonix definitely has a lot more uh, kick to it. So I think that helped get things kicked over. Uh, I got the new plug wires coming, which should also help. And I've got a new distributor cap and a new rotor, which uh, hopefully will show up tomorrow. Uh, if not, uh, next week, I'll get some of that stuff done. I hope the wires show up tomorrow. I'd really like to get those installed. Um, and, uh, you know, if we decide to go out, cause it is supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. So it'd be really nice if we could get the family out. I know Colton was actually pretty upset that, uh, I wasn't that, uh, the boat didn't work the other day. He actually brought it up today. So, uh, we'll, we'll have to see if I can get things going, but, uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, not really too much. Got to get the cover back on. Got to get uh, get a couple other things buttoned up. Like I said, I want to get that bushing. So, uh, so yeah. Nope. Everything uh, was another exciting night. Uh, I got to throw some welds down. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to the next step. So, hopefully we can get this thing out, get it cranked up, uh, run it around for a little bit, kind of just give it a little, get the family out and enjoy the boat. And, uh you know, and get it ready for winter after that. So uh, see if there's anything else that I'll have to take a look at. There's, uh, you know, certainly things that I want to do. And, uh, you know, we'll start looking into those in uh, coming videos. But uh, for now, right now, it's just, hey, let's get it running. Let's get it out on the water and uh, have some fun in it because uh, that's what it's for. So uh, it's definitely getting a little late and uh, it's a school night. So time to put it away. So 